Alright, so I'm still watching the podcast for the second time, and something else that he said really clicked with me. So, um, the whole time, right, he, I'm at a point where he says that, you know, people who hate me, they, they don't even know me. Like, no one knows me, right? And I just thought that was kind of interesting because it hit me that people who, um, People who don't want people who want to document their lives but don't want to, I think it's because there is something about their life that they're embarrassed to share or they are scared to share. But again, I don't know the situation. I I don't know them. I don't I don't know their life. But the reason why Gary does what he does is because he's been through so much. He's been in business for so long that he knows himself. He knows his audience, and. The reason why he's not afraid to document is because he literally has nothing to hide. Like, his his whole life, well, other than his personal family life. Um, and that, that's why I praise him so much, because he is scared of nothing. And that's who I aspire to be, because I've, honest, I've been hiding my whole life that I just don't want to be scared anymore. And that is anything from your public appearance that's anything from your personality even from making a video right i am going to upload these as straight cut video clips um they might be short little snippets but it's just whatever is going on in my brain right now that is um that is coming across my head right so even this, like, that's why I said this is all raw. Um, I, I'm i not hiding anything. I'm not trying to hide anything. This is just, um, excuse me. This is just what's coming through in my head. And I just thought that it was really funny how that just clicked in my head. Because I'm like, the people who aren't documenting their lives or the people who have been recommended to start a YouTube vlog because they have an interesting life. Or from from what I know is because they are afraid of judgment for all the differences they have uh, compared to other people, right? And that's the reason why I think a lot of people who do have interesting lives don't want to document because um, they are thinking about all the work that they have to put into um, importing process. And I, I know this because I, 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 I've done it myself in the past. That's why I know how long it takes. Sure, they, they, they live an interesting life, but they're not, they don't want to go through the hassle of holding a camera, filming the video, uh, you know, well, even before that, buying the equipment, spending hundreds and maybe thousands of dollars, right, on video equipment, and then filming the video, and then, you know, importing the video segments onto the computer, which could take hours on end, depending on, you know, what quality you, you film in. Um, nowadays was I think like like ten eighty p or even four k, uh, I think yeah four k is standard now. So, uh, filming in four k, which takes a lot of time to import, and then all the editing right to get all the video transitions correct, and to make the video flow smoothly right. All that adding on to all the bloopers they probably made. Um, so that's why I keep keep on saying a lot of the YouTube vloggers out there they only post the highlights, and if they happen to post a problem that's another video for adsense revenue right um that's a whole another video that they can make saying oh crap like i got this problem but then the next video could be oh how how i solve this problem or what the problem is only reason why i say that is because i don't know how many channels out there i've seen that have done the exact same process so for me i got nothing to hide this is all straight cut like, you know, one-shot takes that I will be putting as unlisted on a new YouTube channel that I'm going to be creating because I already have a previous one, but that one's all about cars. Um, this one I'm planning on just uh, labeling as my own life and uh, documenting whatever I feel like talking about, and that comes across my mind. And this is why I, um, why I wanted to bring this up because I just think that a lot of people... They are either too busy with their lives or are too busy and wants to do personal branding but do not know how to. And I feel like the way how to reach your audience the best 
And this is why Gary is the fucking best at it. It's because he hides nothing. He sh- he shares everything, right? And it's his courage and his mentality and his self-confidence of posting raw, unedited, but cut video clips um, that when he uploads and when other people, you know, watch it, right? That encourages other people to do the same thing. And that encourages other people to take that first step, whether it be, you know, riding a bike or, or starting a sport or running a blog like me, right? Um, it, if, if other people watch him doing it, that might give them this and saying, oh, hey, you know, because I agree with their perspective, I'm going to start doing it too. So, um, I think, I just think that's why a lot of people don't document and still a lot of people don't document their lives because they are clearly afraid of judgment and they are afraid of judgment on their differences on what they show, you know, the public, right? But in the end, that's, I mean, that's everyone's life. Um, everyone's life is different. So obviously your document to your documentation will be different. Your processes will be different, but that's the true raw difference between everyone. Because again, we're different human beings. So differences are in, inevitable. Um, but again, that's the beauty of showing people the process and the grind. Um, and I do believe that that is a chain reaction. So that's just what I wanted to talk about after, you know, after watching that this video again for the second time. But I'm I'm only like a third of the way through it. But um, I just thought that this that this idea really resonates with me. So, yeah, that's it.